Okay, here's the comp queue. And uh, once again, I must remind everybody uh, not to trade on this. Uh, this is strictly for educational purposes only. Please do your own due diligence. Well, we see here that the NASDAQ really has been the leader and continues to be the leader. And it actually acts like it doesn't want to stop. It's just continuing up. It moved into this flag, you can see, in a very temporary basis and then broke up out of that flag and today actually put in a very impressive gap up, trade up day. And it did it, though, on less than impressive volume. The, the volume that has been displayed has been steady, but nothing that's been absolutely just knock your socks off type of volume. So where's it going to go to the upside if it continues this way? Well, you have to go back and pull up a longer term chart to get an indication of where it could go. But the first area uh, that it may challenge would be at 2473, which is a swing high that was put in in August of 2008. Then we have a double top from May, June of 2008. The first peak was put in in May, the second in June, and that's at 2550. And then finally, if it continues up, and shows a, a continuing robust move to the upside. It in fact uh, may challenge the swing high from October 2007 at uh, 2861. If it comes to the downside, uh, the area that I would be looking for would be the bottom side of this flag, which is put in at about 2400, and then this little swing low here, which is about 2360. This swing high here that was totally disregarded on the up move, it just blew right past it, should provide some kind of support if it in fact retraces, and that's at 2325. We have this swing low that's put in back here at 2100. And then we have this channel, which is kind of, this is atypical of the comp Q. This was kind of schizophrenic trading because it was gapping all over the place, didn't know what it wanted to do at all but this should provide some kind of support on the way down in this channel. And then finally, we have this swing low back here, which was put in in November, last November at uh, 2025. Stochastics is not showing us anything other than it's overbought, as we know. This began to turn over in the MACD, but decided to flatten out. We do have a bearish divergence here on the MACD, and we do need to respect that, and that could foretell uh, a long overdue retrace. Okay, um, so that's the look at the markets. Uh, the overall summary on it is that it continues to move higher and grind higher. And uh, I feel that uh, a person, if you're going to trade this prudently, uh, you need to probably consider being hedged because uh, this could turn on a dime. I believe, as I mentioned in the prior videos, that it's not so much an overwhelmingly uh, bullish sentiment in the market, but a lack of bearish intervention. So if the bears come back in, there's certainly a, a lot of cash sitting on the sidelines. It could be a swift move to the downside, and you need to be ready for that uh, when it occurs. I would ask for you to, uh, you know, trade with some intelligence out there. You know, don't... Uh, uh, load into just one particular issue. You probably need to be diversified, keep some cash on the sideline, keep your powder dry, and stay very nimble and do your own due diligence. And uh, with that, I would um, say to you uh, good trading and I look forward to talking with you next week.